Hey guys, welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. What we're taking a look at is DX9 Toys D07 Tyrant. Not to be confused with their Warren Pocket series, this is a masterpiece scaled figure. And as you can see, it is quite a bit larger. We'll go ahead and take a measurement here. About 10 inches head to toe, I'd say 9 and 3 quarters. Just about there, but yeah. You can see it's definitely an homage to the Transformers character Galvatron. I really love the characters and for a nitpick I'd say the biggest thing aesthetically is the hands being a different shade of purple than the rest of the body I think that's pretty blatant now my copy is a review sample it did not come with a chain matrix as well as an alternate cannon tip which is gold colored instead of the clear so just taking a look at the figure here we're gonna go ahead show you the face first I think the face sculpt is tremendous it's one of the biggest selling points on this figure dead on I love it now zooming back out we'll take a look at the posability and the like and get this show rolling and of course if you like what you see order yours TF source links gonna be in the description and check out my pictorial review on kumasawa.com one with a black background this time really want to know what you guys think but taking a look there I like that it has the double swivel there both the bicep and the forearm they swivel separately that that's pretty neat I wish more toys did that in general not even just transformer toys that's unique right. does have posability at the fingers there two points of articulation on the fingers but they don't go completely straight the thumb just the one point Looking at the knee articulation there, about 45 degrees. The hip skirts move, but they don't move outward, so that outward hip swing looks kind of awkward with the skirts pressed forward like that, as you can see. But definitely not bad. Right. Get them into that blast in the camera pose. Something quick. And just so you guys know, that cannon does peg in pretty tightly. I just knocked it off. It happens. There we go. Take a look at him here. Definitely a good looking figure, and it's solid too. When you feel this guy in hand, definitely quality stuff there. Now, the cannon mode, pretty straightforward. Looks like a cannon. And just taking a look at the length of this guy, front to back, it's about 12 inches. And it's a pretty straightforward alt mode. The transformation, I gotta say, pretty simple. I didn't have instructions for this and just looking at a picture telling me where to go, it was easy to find where things were supposed to be rotated into and this and that. Not bad. DX9, I would say that they're tops right now in terms of fluid transformations. Now you can see the rolling rubber treads there, which is really cool. Unfortunately, they're a little bit too rubbery. The fi friction doesn't really let them roll across the ground, but it's neat. Neat thing to have on it regardless. Take a look at the top of it there. And I like that they made sure the top and bottom, neither of those are too kibble heavy or anything like that. Doesn't look like Galvatron is just hiding underneath there. So, overall, really cool. But, this has been a short review. DX9 Toys D07 Tyrant. They're homage to Galvatron. Check out my review, kumasao.com, full pictorial, written review, all that good stuff. Order yours, tfsource.com, and you'll see lower left-hand corner, my Facebook URL, as well as my Instagram. Again, kumasao.com, that's my site. Check me out, let me know what you think of this review and anything else I do. Later.